so uh, i'll assume all the cards on your pabx are showing red light like this you can see all the cards we have here are all showing solid red light how do we fix this um, in this video i'm going to show you how to correct this it's actually a minor issue that shouldn't cost you anything you don't need to call any technician or do any complicated work on it so i will just show you how to do it if yours is covered this way the first thing i want to do is to remove this top cover by the way this is a panasonic td 200 this fix can also work for td 100 and td 600 so the first thing we want to do is ensure that the cpu card is properly seated if possible to screw it the cpu card is the last card towards the right ensure that they're properly seated now the pbs is off i'm going to show you how to fix this error now let's look at the cards that we have here we have around eight cards or so i think eight cards now the cards stand for um, different function on the pabx and we also have the amphino cables to all plugged on each of them the first we have the lcot card and this card works with a gsm terminal and the rest is very very important then followed by the cselc card and we have the CLC card again this is also a clc card we have clc card also we have clc card why right? this is clc card and we have the finally we have the dhlc card so you see these two cards the dhlc card and the lcot card these two cards are very very important for any pabx this controls your um, gsm terminal if you have one connected and your console phone now let's go back to this issue now on this pabs on the cpu card you'll notice a port there an sd card port this sd card port controls contains the programming of the pabx on the card all the program programming that was done on the pabs is saved on this sd card too it is very 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 important you have this card plugged in on your pabs all the time and you shouldn't remove it for any reason except you're replacing it with another one okay so because the pabs is off that is why i had to remove it to show you now to be able to fix this error you will notice one button here it is called the reset button and there's another switch here which is the initialization switch so the first thing we want to do before we do anything is to initialize the system so you're going to power on your pabs and you're going to flip the switch off then flip it on again what this is going to do is to initialize the system so if there's any minor error that can be cleared it's going to clear the error and then your system will initialize and it will begin to work it's more like rebooting your your system just the way you reboot um, you reboot your laptop all right that is set so that the i'm going to do that right now remember to flip it off and then flip it on so that will initialize the system this card is actually the cpu card by the way it will initialize it now let's go to the button this is a reset button what we are going to do is to press down the button now when you're pressing down the button bear in mind that all this setting on this is going to reset itself and go back to default that means you have to reprogram the numbers again and set them all accordingly so let's switch this system on and see now this is the the power pack area this is the part that controls the power so remember to plug in your 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 cable to this that is what we are going to do and then if it has issue just remove these two screws here and then bring it out straight out this way just like you bring out the the individual cards on it and then you fix it or you replace it and bring it back so I, I have been able to initialize this one and let's see if it is going to solve the problem now that i've initialized it i've pressed the button and i've 
initialize it let's see if this is going to solve the problem hopefully to solve the problem or just be patient and wait so once again remember what we did what we did first before anything is to initialize it you flip the uh, the switch off and you flip it on remember your pbs has to be on before you do any of this you flip it on and off and that is going to initialize the system it will clear minor error and the problem will be solved and if that doesn't work the next thing you're going to do is to reset the cpu press that reset button and then the cpu will reset itself but remember that when you're doing this bear in mind that every setting you have on your pabx will go back to default you have to start resetting everything one after the other so hope this has been able to solve your own problem and thank you for watching i will see you some other time